not a game, it's a red skin. Good morning and welcome to BMS Toys TV. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the Marvel Spider-Man Far From Home, the upgraded suit itself. So um, as a normal typical uh, Far From Home version, it comes with the uh, mysterious concept of uh, uh, design where you can see the, uh, the fish tank of uh, Mysterio is actually there featuring the Spider-Man from the inside. So if you look at this, is the Mysterio here and this is Spider-Man and within inside is the upgraded suit itself. So as per normal, this stated Spider-Man, this is the term and conditions and this is Spider-Man again. So let's open the box and see what we have. Uh, typically you can see it looks slightly better when you open like that. The whole Spider-Man upgraded suit is there. So this is typically, if you can see the drones, uh, drones from the back, so it's typically fighting Mysterio scenes. So without further ado, just uh, you can see the cars and crew over here. So without further ado, let's, let's remove this. Okay. Oh, this is, this is a bit more heavier than I thought. So let's see what we have from the inside. Okay, so there's two layers. Okay, there's two layers of items there. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's see one by one, okay? Okay, as far as the eyes is concerned, we have additional four pairs of eyes. So, um, this is normal one. I think this has disappeared before. This appeared before. Okay, this is the special one. This one is totally dark. I think he's closing his eyes. So this one most likely will be the part where in the movie it only mentioned the Peter Tinkle. So this is the Peter Tinkle, I believe. So this is uh, Edith. This is Edith. So he's like the he has smart uh, high tech glass which can control the uh, satellite something, you know. And this is the phone. So you, you can see, right, there are certain writing display on the phones. I think it's a conversation between Peters and his girlfriends. And this is basically the the mask that you can hold on your hand. This is the uh, okay basically this one this this Spider-Man right you can actually you can actually fly. What happened to my mouth? But uh, anyhow uh, this is the wings itself it's much more bigger compared to the old one. And then uh, there's additionals pair of hand. Let me see how many pairs of hand additionals. One, two, three, four, four, four additional pairs of hand. But over here there's one extra hand, which is the, uh, which is the, uh, oh the the victory hand, the V, you know, the V victory hand is here. Okay. And uh, let's see from the main box itself. You can see this is Peter Parker's uh, his car. The drones. This one is mini size. Now, as per compared to the one I have over there, it's actually much bigger. So this is the um, mini one. And the usual spider web, the usual spider web. This is the base. Okay, this is the uh, Spider-Man himself. Oops, okay, this is Spider-Man himself. Okay, just put it on one side. Let me just bring the base out. I might be using the base because I want to do the drone's pose. So uh, I will be using this as well. Is this for the drones? Yeah, I think this is for the drones. Uh, if you look at it, it's something special. It doesn't appear in most of other uh, Spider-Man. Uh, so I think this is for the drones. Let me just check it out. Uh, let me see what we have over here. So this is for the flying post. This is for the flying post. Take it out as well in case I need it. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, the head. Okay, here. This is for the flying post as well. I don't use the spider web, so I just put one side. Okay, let's talk about the uh, head scarf first. Let's see up close. Wow, can you guys see it? It's actually mo look much more better than the old Tom Holland head scarf. Let me try to do a comparison with the Tom Holland that I have. Uh, can you guys see? I try to put it next to him. So you see, this is much more better. Now at least you can see the eyes much more clearer. 
This is basically from the armor spider, spider armor. Uh, this is much, much more better. Really much more better in any sense. And typically, right, this head scalp, right, can be used to replace that one over there. The reason is very simple because if you guys are aware of right, the night monkey, uh, there's a lot of complaints saying the eyes look too much like watery, I, I would believe. And then I think this one you can just replace on top there, so it will look much more better and uh, wearing it if you know. So uh, then I can just use this mask with a spider tinkles, you know, to do something about it. Or, you know, this one fighting with the drones will be a good idea as well. So this one typically I'll be using to replace the head scalp of spider uh, oh, night monkey over there. So let's just put it at one side. Let's look at the drones. Okay. Oh, okay. Come up drones, come up drones. Yeah, even though the drones is much more smaller compared to the O1, if you can see from here, oh, it's not as detailed as the O1, yeah, because the O1 is much more bigger. It's for me, like, personally, it's not as much detail. Let me just go there and have a look and do a comparison. So, if you look at it, right, um, can you guys see? So, this is the small one, and so this is the big one. So, if you look at it, right, is there any difference? Uh, okay. I'm okay you see over here right you can see some things uh, but I don't think it's it's that details okay if you look at here and then if you look at here of course the big one is easy to do on more details versions uh, but overall right I think it's pretty good it's pretty good it is a bit different I mean if you if you look at it far away right it look a bit different but typically yet it looks pretty good so uh, let's see how it looks like I would be putting it here you know not uh, because the night monkey or even the appraisal suit I think it matched the stories behind you know it can pro be projecting this guy you know it can be projecting the fire elements oh, you know so maybe let, let it fight back okay so um, maybe let's talk about the uh, figures so yeah, close look at the figures. If you look at one thing about the figures, right, the uh, costume itself is much more details. Or you know, I can see a lot of uh, you know the small little piece of like uh, 3D's kind of like uh, uh, cloth materials. You know, as per compared to this one, right, there's not much of that things available, but it's actually available over here. Hmm. And also the logo is, I mean the logo of spider is a bit different. So if you look at the spider, this is how it looks like. For upgraded so this is how it looks like. Uh, you know, for homemade, this is how it looks like. You now basically all the logos is a bit different, but I kind of like this one. It looks very much high tech. Let's look at the back one. This one is even better. So if you look at the shirt itself, right, it comes with a lot of details. So if you look at this part, you know, apart from one pattern, right, there's another pattern over there. So Hot Toys is actually putting more effort over here in this particular figures compared to the other figures that I can see. So if you look at the back itself, right, even the back details, if you can see, look closely, there's a lot of details in the shirts, in the costume itself, the hands. Okay, let me try to just put this on a standing mode. My Osmo just gone. I mean, the battery just just finished, so I have no choice but to use back my old stand for now. Because um, at this moment, it's actually like around three o'clock in the morning over here. Uh, due to MCO, right, I can only do some review at this hour because at other times right my son will be awake and then typically that doesn't allow me to do any of this kind of review okay so if I look at the overall okay this is very much cloth feeling so this one you can actually bought a bend the head a little bit up to down oh okay okay okay, okay. one thing different okay you see when I move the hand right I can feel like you know it's 
this is not available on the previous Spider-Man. So this one typically what it will do, right? It will actually make the uh, things a bit more um, secured. When you move it, right, it's actually secure a positions over there. So when you move, it secure another position over there. So which is typically good if you want to position the figures long terms. Um, let me see. The same goes to the leg. Yeah, this is some additional things that Hot Toys built in. Yeah, you can see, you can hear the sound, right? So even the material itself, this is typically the uh, very very tight sort of like cloth materials, but it, it's a bit more nylon. I would say it's nylon over here. It's nylon over here. This is more a bit of a bit like rubber, but it's not. So <laughs> I know uh, Hot Toys is creating new material every now and then. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I will just remove this later, but I will just show you guys how it looks like. Overall, yeah, this is how it goes from the shoes. I will be what I will do is typically I will just replace the head scalp of our upgraded suit um, of the night monkey. I'll make this head scalp and then this one I'll maintain it, perhaps do some positions of it uh, trying to fly away from the uh, drones. And let's see how it looks like later. So, if I manage to do this before the children the week I will just post some uh, videos I mean at, at the back of these videos so you can see how it looks like in that particular positions or in that particular locations uh, if I do not put it there I will just put, put some I will take some pictures later and put it in my Facebook so uh, till next time you guys have a good day ahead and subscribe to our channels and see you bye It's not a game, it's a red stick.